Hi everybody, this is uh, my uh, energy storage system I'm working on. It's made of um, 32-39 um, amp-hour uh, cells. Um, lithium phosphate, iron phosphate cells. Um, they actually come from an engineer um, priest kit that I used to have installed in my previous trunk and since I sold it I just removed it and I'm starting to to work on this energy storage system to actually to store power coming from the solar panels that, that will be installed on my roof so for now I have just a small inverter switch here and I switch to charger or inverter there's a fuse 20 amps and the charger I use is a very um, a very small charger it's it's just 3 amps it will give 3 amps at 48 volts the system is 48 volts by the way uh, 32 cells uh, 2 2 cells paired uh, body cells configuration 2 cells paired and uh, uh, 16 pairs in in parallel in a series sorry <clears throat> so uh, it's a 38 volt nominal system with um, 78 amp hour uh, capacity so I'm gonna switch on the charger just to show you So you see the main battery voltage uh, going up a little bit. I just have these two voltmeters on the, just a few cells just to watch what's going on. Here is the uh, grid consumption from the charger and this small 12 volt uh, power supply for the to relay uh, uh, programmable voltmeter so slowly charging up to 50 uh, 58 volts then it stops uh, it goes to um, the, the amps are the, uh, the amps are decreasing slowly keeping the voltage, the charger is keeping the voltage at 58 volts and then the, it's slowly going down and stops uh, when the consumption is 20, 20 watts um, so that's about it well anyways I already charged this pack so I'm gonna slowly I'm gonna now switch to inverter mode so let's bring it back to zero charger stops I'm gonna set up start the power on this side otherwise the inverter is not gonna kick in I have a amp meter to see what's going from the pack to the grid tie inverter let's switch this to this is a 220 grid here in front so that's what we're seeing here as a voltage amps and watts let's switch to inverter So you can hear the inverter starting to convert power from the battery at a 10 amps rate into the grid and it's actually giving out 443 watts right now which is not huge but it can cover part of my consumption at home I will show in another video later that the effect, the direct effect on uh, 
the power I'm buying from the grid which actually goes down that much 440 more or less so let's see this is this can run for like uh, six to eight hours to empty this pack and I guess it charges at low pace it charges for 20 to 25 maybe 30 hours I don't know yet exactly but I can I think I can slowly uh, uh, capture the energy from my from my fu future solar panels on the roof uh, some of this energy will be used to lower my grid usage and some will go into this battery bank very slowly but all time long or all, all, all day long I mean when the sun is out or when there's it when there's a, a light it works even with a small light um, ambiance light and these uh, unisolar panels I'm, I'm gonna install and um, yeah, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna work, and it's uh, pretty simple to install.